Hello and welcome to a new video about my MQTT motor controller. Actually, it's just a motor controller right now. And now, first step, connect it to, to Wi-Fi. But with my with the help of my line command thing here. Alright, so what I need is a Wi-Fi LED and I will use the first one here, it's 22. 22 should be my Wi-Fi LED, so I need the LED and I need resistor. Okay, so 22 should be now my Wi-Fi LED to indicate that I'm connected with Wi-Fi not. Now we can switch to the computer, hardware setup already finished. <coughs> Now can we can switch to the computer and check what we need to do. All right, so at the computer, uh, I'm using the same program as last time. Uh, and I want to add a uh, Wi-Fi functionality. Uh, so actually what I need to do is that I have to include Wi-Fi here. Include Wi-Fi. All right, this is not found. One time compiling, and it will be found. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, I will also add here some sort of string. Uh, I always like that it's, it will print out a version, so it's currently 0 0.1, I would say. Yeah, we're not very far. We're not very far. And in setup, the first thing we do is we write this Motor controller. Yeah, if it's <laughs> if it's compiling in the background, it takes a while. Version. Starting up. All right. So this should be printed now. Meanwhile, it's finished compiling. Meanwhile, we see Wi-Fi has been found, so we can use Wi-Fi. Good. Uh, I will add one other, one other uh, library of mine parameter string. EEPROM stringer, this is what it's called. Actually, what it does is it's storing a string inside the EEPROM so that we don't have to code somewhere our, our SSID, our password, and so on. So, I would like to put it there. All right. And what do we need? We need a parameter string. No, we need a parameter string for para string, and we need it uh, a Wi-Fi SSID. Right? This is what we need, and we need a para string Wi-Fi password. Those two things we need. Yeah. In setup, I will produce those. Yeah. So, Wi-Fi SSID is new param string. Param 
parent string parent string is called what do we need we need an address where it might be found in the EPRO and we need a length how many how many uh, bytes this has yeah the rest will be taken care by by this parameter string class so I think this fits best if we would produce this, put this in parameter, no EE from offsets. Yeah. Here we could write this also. So I define now uh, the offset for the SSID and this should start at byte number 20. And I define the length of the SSID and this should be 20 bytes. Okay, so starting from address 20, 20 bytes, it's the SSID. And then we do the same with the password. Is it Wi Fi pass? Maybe? Better? And this, of course, cannot start at 20 because at 20 it's already taken, it has to start at 40 and also 20 long. Okay. Maybe the SSID should be 30. Then we have a little bit more room. We have, we have plenty and also the password can be 30 uh, positions. We have plenty of room there. Okay, so all set, pa 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 pa. Past. Uh, past. Uh, so I will do this now. We have, at first, we said we need to have the address. So it's the offset of SSID and the length of SSID. Okay, and then we do the same for the pass, Wi Fi pass. Offset Wi Fi pass and length Wi Fi pass. All right, now we would read this Wi Fi SSD and Wi Fi pass in, in our from our EPRA. This is now this can be stored, this can be stored in EPRA. Good. Actually, what else do we need? Of course, at, when we're starting up, we will call Wi-Fi dot disconnect. Disconnect. Yeah. Then we want to be a station, so the Wi-Fi mode uh, must be Wi-Fi station. And not access point, All right? That's that. Uh, all right, and then we said we have a I/O pin number. Yeah, we have the define Wi-Fi LED, and this was <laughs> I don't know, can't remember twenty two, twenty two. All right, save, and I have then to pin mode. Wi-Fi LED as an output. Good, out, 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 output. Good, this was not good here. This I forget completely. All right. This I will also forget. The loop is very, very short currently. Good. How do we get these parameter strings inside? Well, we have to write a Wi-Fi callback. 
you know, this, this line command is working with a Wi-Fi callback. So I produce now a Wi-Fi callback function. Yeah? And this Wi-Fi callback function is a void because it will not deliver something back because it's a full call for callback function. And I will call it Wi-Fi callback. Right? And there comes a byte with change info. This is so, so, simply a number where uh, uh, the line command will tell us what it is, what it's doing, okay? What it, what, what was the command to the line? Yeah? I will explain it. Yeah? Then we have a stream output where to put some information and then we have a constant uh, character array additional info this is how this should look like okay i will make a string output this is empty and now i make a big switch with changed info. Changed info. What, what cases can we have? Yeah? If we have a look at this line command dot h, I will open this now. Look at that. If here it's Wi-Fi connect, connect, Wi-Fi disconnect. It's Wi-Fi new SSID, Wi-Fi new pass, Wi-Fi new device ID. Device ID. Oh, I should also print SSID, print pass, print device ID. Uh, Wi-Fi, print IP, print status. These are all commands, you know, I could enter there, yeah, Wi-Fi on, Wi-Fi off, and then we get connect or disconnect. Okay? Let's first take care about the SSID, print SSID or new SSID. Yeah? Let's make this yeah? and see if we can if we can manage this. So the case was Wi-Fi callback uh, new new, let's call it SSID. What should happen if we get a new SSID? Hmm? The Wi-Fi SSID yeah? we call the method setString and it's in additional information Okay. Now we have set the new the new SSID string. Let's make just this. Yeah? And case Wi-Fi callback print the SSID. Uh, then We will do a Wi-Fi SSID get string and we need the address of the output so we say output should work. What is this? Aha! Output, output. Uh, I call this output port. Better. Now, <laughs> now it's working. Break. Okay, and in the end,
So we will simply make an output as well. Yeah. So here we will make a output port. Dot print. And we will say uh, SSID change to Maybe we should write this output port print additional info. Good. And then we make a print line. Okay, this is that, and here SSD is, and here we will just write output. Good, and now we only have to tell the the only we only have to tell the line command that we have this callback function. So I will do it here. Command at at Wi-Fi callback, and here I need the the address. Now it will call, call here, yeah? this one. So let's, let's upload this actually and see what we can do. If you remember my own, my own commands I've written, I'm not sure right now. I think get SSID is the name. Get SSID. Oh, this is nothing. Set SSID. Test SSID. Hmm. Get SSID. Good. Why is there always? Exit on get SSID. Why for SSD is? Is this the D is? Set is this a D? Is this a D change to? This is get is this a D? Wi-Fi is this a D? Is? Ah, I already prepared this. I already prepared this in in line command. Okay, so I only have to print the output. <laughs> Good. Let's see if it's now working, because I have now doubled the, the effort. Yeah. Wi-Fi SSD is, SSD is, so we just need to print the output here. I did not remember. Now oh, it's working. Get SSID. Okay, test SSID. Okay, so this is working. We can set an, uh, an SSID. All right. Uh, well, let's do the same.
new path. Now we should also be able to set to set uh, the password. Get pass, okay, private password is set pass, uh, test password, get pass, okay, I was also able to set. So now we're able to store in those, in those uh, Wi-Fi, in those parameter strings inside the EEPROM, we're able to store now things, yeah? Wi-Fi, SSID and Wi-Fi password. This was our first step towards connecting to, to Wi-Fi. Yeah? Next video, I will show uh, then how to really connect. Yeah? Now, now we manage that we have stored uh, the password and the SSID inside the EEPROM and we are not having somewhere a uh, uh, variable and we will open our our password to the public if we accidentally publish the code yeah? it's not in the code it's in the epro of this device good yeah. so that's that for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye